Hey guys. Hope you're all doing well, staying safe, and staying sane, at the very least. Just want to make this a uh, quick little channel update. Um, talk about what I want to do with this channel going forward a little bit more. I haven't really made a video in a hot second, uh, which is a little bit odd to me, since I've been invading like almost more than ever. And I've been consuming just an absolute crapload of Souls content from a bunch of other YouTubers and Twitch streamers especially. Um, so, I'm trying to put my finger on why I haven't made a video. Um, and for the longest time it's because I thought I had nothing to talk about. But then, you know, after work, I'd get, get together on Discord with my friends and we'd all play through the game, like making different kinds of characters, you know, doing some dry finger runs and stuff like that. Um, and I found myself just like blabbering on and on about these Souls games. I was like, okay, maybe I do have actual things to talk about. To me, this channel is like still fulfilling its original purpose, which was to engage more with the Souls community. Um, but I guess I'm kind of plateauing in how good I'm getting at this game. Um, and there's a whole nother level of, of you know, getting good. Um, that I'm just not incredibly interested in. I've been watching a ton of uh, G9 streams um, and like a bunch of uh, the Peps content, and while it's all fantastic, I just have no interest in playing at that level. To me, like Meta Pontiff and Meta Ring City uh, just seem like such absolutely toxic places to invade um, that I think has really has no bearing on the original intention behind invasions um, in, in co-op, right? At this point, it's its own little meta game where hosts try to eke out every tiny little advantage they have um, over invaders, and invaders use like all the glitches in the book to try to beat them, which is fun and fine if you want to do that. Um, I know a lot of people really love that aspect of it, but it's just not why I love invasions, um, and I just have no interest of really ever being at that level. So as a result, I tend to stick to like making level invaders, um, or level specific invaders. Um, a lot of the time I'll make a build specifically designed for particular levels. So that's kind of where I start. I start with a level I want to invade, and then I pick some weapons, and I pick some fashion, and then I think about maybe like a little backstory, maybe a little like a lore invader. And to me that's just a lot more fun. Um, I've been really trying to use different weapons with different builds, and I, I've been really trying to make a concerted effort not to have every single one of my builds devolve into uh, main hand greatsword, offhand hand stock, or rapier. I mean, that playstyle is really fun, um, but when every single invasion comes down to, you know, turn and burning with the, the greatsword and poking with the s stock and, and all of that, it just kind of like becomes repetitive, and so I wanted to get better with different combos of weapons. Um, different kinds of tactics, uh, and I wanted to make each character a little bit different in their own way. So that's kind of where I'm at with uh, Dark Souls 3 at this point. Um, I like to make a lot of level invaders and lore invaders, um, and I like to do some dried finger runs. I've been considering making a couple like dual specific builds, but ultimately like we'll see about that. Uh, just because I'm kind of running out of character slots. Um, I've already had to delete a few to make way for newer characters that I wanted to try out. Um, and Dark Souls 3 like allows you to have 10 character slots, and honestly, I'd want to have more. I kind of have an odd range at which I like to make builds around. I don't like to go below like 30, or even really 40, uh, just because I don't have any real interest in invading brand new players to the game that are like starting off at high wall or in the undead settlement. Also the fact that you don't have a lot of access to weapons at that point in the game means you're going to be fighting the same combos of weapons over and over again, and that just isn't that interesting to me. I also find that a lot of the invasions I get around SL40 are a little too tanky for everyone involved, like it takes a million hits for me to die, so I just play like hyper aggressive and I can't be killed. and. Um, opponents just take a million hits to kill as well. Um, so it's like fun, but I would prefer like people to be a little squishier all around. And then once you get to 60, between like 60 and 72 is like this perfect little medium where stats start to really like show. Like if people didn't put enough vigor into their characters, they get annihilated. Um, but if players did properly like allocate their stats, they can tank quite a few more hits. Um, damage is good, but not 
like the the absolute blender that it is at like 125. So I end up making a ton of characters like targeting that little sweet spot right there. So I'd say that's what you, the viewer, can kind of expect from this channel uh, going forward for the next period of time, I guess. Um, just you know, making new invasion builds um, centered around different levels, different weapons, stuff like that. As for beyond that, I guess we're just kind of waiting around for Elden Ring. You know, <laughs> absolutely no news uh, in over a year. Um, this cure update looks interesting, but it's pretty bizarre that it's for late October, um, especially considering that it's not a ton of content. It's it's a lot of just like shuffling around of current content and packaging it up. Um, so I'm, I'm curious what that can mean for the future. Are we going to get Sekiro DLC, like full-fledged DLC, or is it for like a different reason? I don't know. Um, I've been promising a like Elden Ring speculation video on this channel, and while I don't really have any like insider knowledge um, of anything like that, I do have some like speculation as to why we shouldn't be too worried um, that it's taking so long for them to get us any news. So I'm going to be working on that video as well, uh, but I've been promising it for a little while, uh, so uh, don't hold your breath or anything, I guess. And I guess, lastly, a little bit about me. I've uh, got a job recently working for a video game studio that I really, really like. Um, and that's not even in terms of like, oh, I like working there. That's in terms of like, I was a really big fan of theirs before I even got hired for this position. Um, so that game is on the horizon and it's coming out soon. And I might make some content about it. Um, I might not. Ultimately, we'll see uh, based on you know, how the game shapes up before launch and you know, how it's received and stuff like that. But it is going to be on PS4, PS5, um, and PC. So yeah, that's kind of what's happening with me. That's what's happening with this channel. Um, and I just want to say a quick thank you to absolutely everyone who watches this channel. Um, just getting your comments um, and your feedback from a lot of these videos just means the world to me keeps me so engaged with this funny niche little community um, and it really just brings me a lot of joy and that's not just with my content that's for like everyone's content in this community as well so from the bottom of my heart thank you that's all for me for now thanks for watching guys i'll see you in the next one